Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy that is going to be illuminated for this full moon that will be occurring October 20th, 2021. Before we get into the reading, I just want to mention, of course, that this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and get into the numerology and the energy for this full moon. So we are going to be looking at uh, mainly the energies around the number eight and the numbers 20 and two. Uh, definitely the energies of the 20 because that is really influencing the energies of the two. That's an influencer. So we're going to take a look. Let's dive in. So by illuminating the energies of the 20 and the two, we will find this to be a time of sort of a turning point, major culminations or shifts in energy that have been building for some time now um, will be at the forefront. So sudden events could require you to make big life-changing decisions now that could create quite large shifts within your life. So for some, this can be a time where you will look back on you know, this energy in the future. You'll look back and say, this was a pivotal time within your life where your choices, your actions, your um, you know, divine timing put you on a path that could feel very much destined. This is sort of like that lightning bolt of destiny coming in and being like, all right, time to pivot, time to shift gears, time to make some kind of a drastic change on your path, okay? So this is big transformative energy. This is not meek energy. This is sort of see this as a recalibration or a rebalancing of the energy that was becoming stagnant within your life. So this could be, again, that lightning bolt of awakening you've been asking for to sort of further step into your purpose and to feel much more aligned. You know, we step into our purpose, we show up in purpose every single day, even if we don't recognize it, even if we aren't aware of it. This is an awareness. This is going to be, again, sort of that lightning bolt coming in to help to align you to where you know you're stepping into purpose. You know you are aligned. Um, of course, you have to take the action, but it's going to be really hard to ignore this energy. And so, again, it's what you do with it, but it's definitely going to be coming in quite strongly. So pay attention to what comes into your awareness now. We experience millions of stimuli daily, so many things happening, so many conversations, so much noise that it's impossible to integrate all of that. So what's going to be most important during this time, especially, is to pay attention to what truly comes into your awareness, asking to be acknowledged, explored, overcome, or integrated. So Distinguish between the noise and the things that sort of demand your attention, right? It's kind of like those things that will not be ignored. That's in your awareness. It's like you can't really ignore it no matter where you look. You might try to look away, but it's there. There's no denying it. That's what you really need to pay attention to at this time and see what it's trying to show you. What are you trying? What is being shown to you at this time? Because that's what's going to indicate to you where the action needs to be taken you know, where the shift needs to be made. So pay attention to those things that come into your awareness, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, because probably it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. You know, any time we deal with change or transformation, it's generally outside of our comfort zone or pushing us outside of our comfort zone. Very rarely do these transformative events occur within, you know, comfort <laughs> within the known. Usually it's asking us to step into the unknown. So again, pay attention to what comes into your awareness and demands your attention at this time. The noise, the outside noise has nothing to do with you, but those things that stop you in your tracks and force you to pay attention, that force you to take notice, those are your messages. That's the roadmap for the next stop. Pay attention. So during this 20 to 
illumination, you may notice many polarities surfacing, asking you to decide where your own personal balance lies within those polarities. So extremes of any kind, and I say this all the time, but it's extremes of any kind, positive, negative, whatever. Extremes of any kind can become toxic very, very quickly. So we need the polarities to keep us moving, right? To keep us evolving. You know, nothing sort of happens in a vacuum. You have to have both polarities, positive, negative, to push you and to help steer you or steer us, right, into the direction that we need to be moving into. So polarities are not a bad thing, but it's really about finding our balance. We are not meant to stay in either extreme. Life is about continuously being pushed into a polarity and then perhaps the other polarity and then figuring out where our equilibrium lies. That's the growth. Learning this about ourselves and recognizing the difference between our own truth or balance and our own chaos, right? So what what is chaotic for us may not be chaotic for somebody else. What is balanced for us may not be balanced for someone else. So this is a very unique individual journey. So don't re, don't resist this need for change, right? This lightning bolt is going to come in to show you where the change needs to occur. So don't resist it, right? Change is always happening. And so if it's change that's meant, meant for you, the more adaptable that you can be at this time, then the more comfortable the experience of change will be for you. And understand the change is working for you. It's working with you, right? To help you find your balance and your alignment. This is truly a time of personal illumination. And I say personal illumination because it's really going to be that unique, profound experience for the individual, for you. And, and it's up to you what you do with that. Yes, things are going to be happening on the global sta- stage and we'll witness that, right? We'll be able to be aware of that. But what is balanced for the collective may be different for what is balanced for you. The equilibrium for the collective may be different for the equilibrium for you, right? So again, this is going to be about personal illumination at this time. You get to choose what you will do with this gift of illumination and awareness. If you choose to do nothing, then you will see little results. So this is going to be a time to be extra bold now and really take sort of, you know, (laughs) the bull by the horns, right? And steer in the direction that you want to move into with this new awareness, with this new illumination, okay? Very, very, very powerful energy. Honestly, this kind of feels like if, you know, this feels like Mars energy. This feels like action energy. And this feels kind of also like Uranian where it's like that lightning bolt coming in to be like, you can't ignore this anymore. This is coming in to your awareness to take action on, to make some kind of a shift. And the universe is working with you to help you make that shift. This is very empowering energy. Speaking of empowering, We also have the energies of the eight being illuminated now. So with this occurring alongside of the illumination of the 20 and the two, especially the two, we could see the need for rebalancing. So rebalancing finances, rebalancing of power, rebalancing um, of, you know, your spiritual and your physical energies, rebalancing of giving and receiving, making sure that those those energies are in balance and balance between the masculine and the feminine energies. Now, the, fem- the masculine and feminine energies live within us all. It is it has nothing to do with gender. OK, nothing to do with sex. It has to it's energetic. We all carry those masculine and feminine energies. And I know you all know this, but I just want to make sure it's very clear that, you know, a lot of times throughout our journey, we are more dominant in one of those energies. And so the journey includes the balancing or the recalibration of those energies so that, you know, they can basically be, you know, united in a sense, right? And, and balanced, that's the best word for it. And so this is going to be a time for when that you may become very aware of where you're more dominant and where you can introduce um, or honor that other side of yourself, that very important other side of yourself so that they can merge and so they can be balanced. So we'll see this play out definitely 
on the global world stage right now during this illumination. No doubt about it. Um, you know, it's going to play out and it's going to play out in a way where it's going to highlight for us what needs to change globally, what needs to change collectively, what needs to be rebalanced because, you know, unless you live on a, you know, on a mountain under a rock, it's very clear to see that things are way out of balance right now in, in humanity, in the world, globally. And so it definitely needs some rebalancing there, definitely needs some recalibration. And so we're going to see these energies play out on the world stage as we continue to shift and move and try to get to find that balance, right, collectively. But we're also going to see this, again, individually. This is an individual illumination. That's where we have our power is individually. And when we can work with the individual, we can work with self and get ourselves rebalanced. Then we start to see that the more that people do that, we start we start to see that play out collectively. And so that's why it's so important for the individual to take action, to pay attention to where that imbalance lies. So this doesn't mean that these areas will just snap back into place, right? For, for us or globally or whatever the case may be. Each takes effort, strength, determination, and commitment to reaching that goal, to reaching that balance. So there often needs to be sort of a critical point or a mass crumbling or chaos in the area that needs to be rebalanced before we're sort of driven to take action to fix it. And that, again, includes collectively. So yes, it would make more sense to be proactive, right? over being reactionary when it comes to making these changes. But as a collective and individually, oftentimes we prefer the known to the unknown, even if the known is detrimental. And this is ego, right? Ego trying to protect, even if it's a false sense of security, right? The ego trying to protect us. And so things often need to sort of fall apart in order for us to gain a better perspective of what wasn't working so that we can create something much more sustainable and better serving. And that's what we really saw the sort of initiation of globally in 2020, which was a four year, which is all about breaking you know, down the institutions and the constructs and the, um, the foundations that aren't working to sort of create that chaos so that we can get a different perspective so that there can be a bigger shift. And so that's really kind of, you know, the initiation globally sort of happened in 2020, but we're seeing the after effects of that. We're still in the process. And this is not something that, again, things don't just pop into place. It takes time. And that's also individually, the individual work as well. So this is going to be, again, an opportunity to gain a, a greater perspective of what wasn't working so that we can create something more sustainable and better serving, okay? If things at this time seem to be falling apart or falling away, don't fight it. Let them fall away. Why cling to something that isn't working, right? And that, you know, includes relationships or career, jobs, whatever the case may be. Because when the dust settles, you'll have greater clarity. You'll be able to see things much more clearly. You'll be able to better understand why the crumbling had to occur. So you'll see what's still standing and what you have to work with to create something better, all right? And again, this includes relationships, but especially business relationships. Um, or relationships with any amount of power struggles or control issues. And the reason why I say that is because we're working with eight energy. Eight energy is being illuminated, and that really is sort of um, in the physical plane when it comes to business um, or, you know, money or, you know, anything within the sort of physical, tangible reality that has to do with resources. So it could include, of course, you know, a romantic partnership, a, you know, whatever, you know, uh, domestic partnership, but really pay attention to those business relationships or those relationships with any, where there's some kind of imbalance of power or imbalance when it comes to control. That's really going to be highlighted at this time to bring that energy back into balance. 
So we may, we may at this time be asked to reclaim our power and to stand within our power, and that may create the fall, okay? But the energy of the eight is asking you to answer that call. Because if something crumbles simply because you stood within your own power, then it wasn't real to begin with, and it never should have been standing in front of you in the first place. Okay, so eight energy, again, <laughs> this is not meek and mild energy that we're working with. This is very powerful, you know, in your face, asking you to follow your truth, find your courage, and to stand tall within that knowing. And anything trying to restrict that energy will fall away. Perhaps not without a fight first, but if you show up in truth, then the lies will fall away. This entire illumination is centered around each individual reclaiming their individual power that's most aligned with their own individual truth and finding their balance within that power. The eight and the two energies are sort of working in tandem here for the greater good. So, you know, if there's any area within your life where there's an imbalance between giving and receiving, finances, um, power and control, whatever, you're going to feel this and you're going to sort of feel compelled to um, take that energy back, to rebalance, to recalibrate, to find your equilibrium. And again, that can mean some relationships falling away. That can mean some um, butting of heads, right? And you get to choose how you show up to that exchange. You don't have to follow the lead of somebody else and how they're showing up to the experience. You get to choose how you show up to it. And so it may be a difficult conversation. It may feel uncomfortable, but that doesn't mean that you have to feed into the negative energy of the exchange. If the other person shows up and you know they're bringing the negativity, you can show up in positivity. You can show up and, and stand in your truth and set your healthy boundaries or whatever you need to do to reclaim that power, to reclaim that 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 energy for yourself, right, in your own truth. And so again, it's kind of like this is going to ask a lot of us, um, but it's showing us how powerful we truly are and how how much we sort of give away as opposed to claiming. And so this energy is gonna be powerful and it's gonna create a lot of shifts. Um, but it, but remember the shifts that create, that are created through standing in your own integrity and your own autonomy and authenticity, you know, those things that fall away were never meant to be yours to begin with, right? They weren't helping you in any way. If anything, they were holding you back and hindering you. So this is really, when I say that this energy is about empowerment, this energy is about empowerment. So embrace it. It might be a little bit scary. It might be a little bit intimidating. It might be a little bit overwhelming, but that's okay. You're, you'll find your way to work through it. And when you come out the other side of it, you're going to feel like an entirely different person. Basically, the shift will be a shift where it's like it's going to be hard for you to go back to the way things were prior to the shift. This is big energy. You know, don't willingly give your power away to anything or anyone external to you. True power, true power has absolutely nothing to do with control or manipulation, but rather taking responsibility for our own lives, our own direction, and our own actions and not allowing someone or something external to us to make those decisions for us. So where within your life can you find your balance and reclaim your power now without manipulating or you know, hurting or um, doing anything to somebody else, right? This is, again, this is all about us individually. This isn't about taking control of somebody else. This is about equalizing that power finding our own power and working with it. So I hope it's a very powerful <laughs> full moon that's coming up at the end of the month for you all. I really feel like it's going to be, I feel like this is going to be some really 
intense energy, but in a really good way. We need this. We need this awakening. We need this clarity. We need to feel this surge of energy behind us to, again, find our own courage to step into, you know, who it is and what it is that we came here to be. So thanks. <laughs> thank you all for listening. I really appreciate each and every one of you uh, sending you lots of, uh, you know, virtual hugs and just love and light as you move through this energy. It's going to be intense, but it's going to be amazing at the same time. So thanks, everyone. I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.